Hey guys, welcome to Gentlemen Within's second edition of Styling Cinema, a series where I attempt to refresh and modernize stylish outfits from the movies. Part two features the quintessential romantic comedy When Harry Met Sally, and eight hand-selected versatile looks from Harry Burns, aka Billy Crystal. Let's get started. So the premise of this series is to put my spin on my favorite looks from classic movies using garments and accessories that I have in my own closet. And more importantly, I want the outfits to be wearable. When Harry Met Sally has some iconic moments. After all, who can forget this scene? Yes! 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 Oh! 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 Oh God! Oh! I'll have what she's having. It's often regarded as the original rom-com that birthed thousands more. While watching it for the nth time, usually around New Year's, I started analyzing Harry's outfits and how with a little bit of modifying could lead to tremendously stylish looks. And so the idea for part two of this series was born. And so now without further ado, let's get into the outfits. So for outfit one, the Vintage at the Leisure. We're starting things off with a little bit of Vintage at the Leisure. This outfit is anchored by two everyday basics from the athletic gray zip hoodie to the faded light wash jeans. You'll be seeing a lot of these as it was essentially a late 80s trend. So I decided to stay mostly true to the original look here with a gray zip hoodie from one of my favorite Broadway musicals, Hamilton. But instead of light wash denim, I opted for a mid wash slim jeans with a little bit of subtle distressed details. Underneath, I'm wearing my trusty Uniqlo Supima cotton tee in white. And instead of the golden leather strap watch, I went for a vintage resin black Casio watch with a white dial, equally as classic in my opinion. For shoes, in keeping with the athletic tones, I chose the Everlane Court sneaker in white with a blue tab accent detail. And just for fun, I threw on a stylish puffer vest to add a little bit of variety to this otherwise understated simple look. For look two, Harry continues with the vintage theme of slim light wash jeans, what looks to be a lightweight heather gray crew neck and a pair of retro white kicks, which adds on those athletic undertones. I decided to put on the lightweight merino active tee in charcoal gray from Ministry of Supply and layer the heavyweight overshirt in a darker gray from under 510, keeping things ultra relaxed and casual here. For the jeans, I remained faithful to Harry's look by opting for what seems to be his favorite, light wash jeans. Alternatively, you could go mid wash or even dark wash here as it would make for a solid everyday look. Sneaker check, again, I went with the popular Everlane Quartz sneaker in all white for this fit, complemented by the oatmeal colored merino wool socks. And finally, since this is a decidedly casual fit all around, I opted for the rich brown quarter van belts with the golden buckle. Just super casual and it, it works if you ask me. So this third fit from Harry is not my favorite. While I do love the textured sport coat and the layering up top, I think he misses the mark with the V-neck sweater, the light wash, straight fit jeans, and white sneakers here. There's just way too much dissonance going on. It's like he went for a high-low approach, but then took it a little bit too far. And so to correct and modernize this fit, I took a little bit of liberties with my outfit details. For one, instead of the professorial blazer, I went with a slicker yet still smart comfort jacket from Uniqlo, paired with a refined brushed heather button-up from Machinery, and the more accessible crewneck sweater and a classic cashmere from Everlane. Next, I dropped the vintage light wash denim and went with the tried and true dark wash jeans from The Perfect Jean to add some finesse to what would have been a little bit too relaxed here. To finish off the looks, I went with the white leather low tops with a suede trim from Veja, a more elegant footwear option than the tennis sneakers Harry has on here. Overall, these changes make this fit more modern and elevated in my opinion. Outfit number four, the hipster throwback. So Harry was channeling some serious Pinocchio vibes with outfit four. I'm calling it the hipster throwback like the previous fit. This one could use some refreshing too. To modernize things a bit, I chose a white slim fit performance dress shirt. Slim fit anything is gonna always feel more contemporary. 
And as for the pants, I like the pleated trousers he had on, and so I upped the ante with a pair of my own with side tabs instead of belt loops. The braces here are redundant, but I'll play it long and keep them since it's a major piece of this overall look. Moving on, I have no idea what the shoe situation is here, but I picked what I thought would complement the look, and so look no further than my dependable Fifth Avenue cap toe Oxfords from Ellen Edmonds in the dark chili colorway. Classically modern in the best of ways if you ask me. I hope you're enjoying this video brought to you by our sponsor, Exter. I've been using their Senate card holder exclusively for over a half a year now. Not only does it have a minimalist style and design, it's functional too. A couple of my picks are of course the Senate card holder in whichever color suits your style best, the Parliament, which is their best seller and has additional storage beyond the Senate, and lastly, I'm big on Exter's new carbon fiber card holder, which has a sleek and trendy design that is made with military grade carbon. And so if you're looking for a quality slim wallet with style and functionality at affordable prices, you'll definitely want to take a look at Exter. You won't be disappointed. You can go to shop.exter.com slash gentleman within and use code GW5 or KOI, K-H-O-I for 5% off site wide. And now back to the video. Outfit five, the Cozy Ath Lounger. So for outfit five, I love the oversized cable knit mock neck sweater that Harry's got on here. Unfortunately, I don't own an oversized mock neck, but I do have a handful of roll neck sweaters. And so I'm going to go with that in a similar color of beige with a more refined body fitting aesthetic. Not quite as comfy, cozy, and relaxed as Mr. Burns, but it still picks up a similar mood. On to the pants. I wouldn't have thought to pair a turtleneck sweater with sweatpants, but if you think about it, they're a match made in sartorial heaven. One is comfortably refined while the other is comfortably casual, leading to a great high-low balance. I kept true to the original fit with a pair in heather gray. On his feet, the socks are looking quite cozy as well. I imagine there's some sort of woolen fabric, and so I opted for a thick gauge pair of my own in merino wool. And as for the book, I'm not sure what kind of reads Harry is into, but the one I've got here is David Coggins's Men and Style. It's a must have for any menswear enthusiast in my opinion. Outfit six, the cozy casual. In my honest opinion, the classic white trainer is an ultimate forever piece that should have a stranglehold on your closet for at least three seasons out of the year, if not year round. So Harry sure loves his tristy white kicks as he's wearing a pair in scene after scene, but I can't blame him. He also loves jeans of the light wash variety Told you we'd be seeing them plenty. But I can't knock them though, since it was a sign of the times. Outfit six is essentially the same as the previous fit, but instead of sweats and socks, we've got denim and sneakers, which is out of home appropriate attire while still keeping it casual cool. I kept the roll neck sweater from the last look and decided to recycle the court sneakers from Everlane and the Airflex slim jeans from AE. One of my favorite pair of jeans to wear, period. Now onto outfit seven. The winter classic. So if you want to lend instant elegance to any outfit, pick up an overcoat or top coat in camel or charcoal gray for maximum versatility. Harry is donning an oversized overcoat here and that's sure to keep him warm, but the early 90s NFL linebacker shoulder pads are stunting his style a little bit. Though he is on trend for the era, I refined the look with a slightly shorter, much more slim fitting top coat in a similar gray color. This fit is much more modern while keeping true to the original. Next, I decided to throw on a black cable knit turtleneck to complement the coat along with the charcoal gray, tapered wool trousers, tapered being keyword here, with a herringbone pattern that's elevated as ever. Finally, if you want to add a fashion forward edge to your winter outfits, do yourself a favor and throw on a few trusty accessories like a cashmere scarf, leather driving gloves to instantly add a dash of style and sophistication that'll show that you're serious about style. And last but certainly not least, outfit eight, the home team is anchored by one of my fall favorites that casually adds a laid back spin to your off duty look, the field jacket. Go for olive, tan, or navy, olive being my favorite of the trio. So we're back to where we started and there he goes again with the light wash jeans. Not only that, his best friend is twinning with them. As much as I respect the light wash, I opted for a more versatile mid-blue slim fit pair from Mott & Bow, 
with distressing details at the ankle that I created myself for that little dash of additional style. It looks like he's got on a gray turtleneck and so I went with my trusty lightweight Uniqlo Heat Tech turtleneck with a little bit more of a performance fabric. For the shoes, I went with the original Tread by Everlane Trainers in an olive colorway to match the olive field jacket. And lastly, Harry is a New York Yankees fan, but I'm not. So I went instead with a Temple University, which is my alma mater, New Era cap. Fit checked. And there you have it, my eight recreated and refreshed outfits from the arch typical, arch typical, archetypical, whatever, when Harry met Sally. While none of these hand-picked looks are a serious sartorial statement, they are wearable and stylish as they come with a little bit of modernizing. I won't spoil the movie for anyone who hasn't seen it. You've had over 32 years, man. But I do want to mention that it's a feel-good, heartfelt film that any rom-com lover is sure to enjoy. And that they sure could have used 21st century technology. <laughs> All right, so what should be the next installment of this Styling Cinema series? Let me know down in the description. That's all I got for this video. Thank you as always for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead lightly tap that like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Put out new videos like this weekly. That's all I got for this video. Cheers to your... <laughs> That's all I got for this video. Cheers to your style, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. What I'm saying is, and this is not a come on in any way, shape, or form, is that men and women can't be friends because the sex part always gets in the way.